The Northeast Texas Children's Museum in Commerce is having a special event on Saturday, December the 5th. Museum Director Charlene Freeman discussed the event on KSST's Good Morning Show with Enola Gay on Tuesday morning. We are having Brunch with Santa at the Children's Museum on Saturday, December the 5th from 9.30 to 11.30. And we are so excited. It's my favorite event that we have all year at the Children's Museum. It's just a great way for families to begin the Christmas season. Have you taken your kids or grandkids to the Children's Museum yet? I pose that question just out there to everybody. It is a treasure only 18 miles away from us. And it's like no other place in Texas. Is that right? That is exactly right. We were chosen the best creative children's experience in Texas, and we have we are hoping to triple the population of commerce in our attendance this year. And so, because of that, I want to thank all of you in Sulphur Springs and the surrounding area who have brought your children and grandchildren to the Children's Museum, okay. because it takes this whole area to support the museum. Okay. Now, you may have passed it, even if you haven't <coughs> been to it many times. Your kind of across from the university. Yes, right there on Highway 24. Okay. If you if you come down Highway 11, you'll almost dead end at the Children's Museum. Okay. Now, it's in a shopping center area. No. No. <laughs> Okay. It used to be. Okay. Your time. <laughs> uh, probably seven that. years, uh, seven or eight years ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's right on the main street there, right across from the tennis courts, okay. across from the university. Okay. And when you come through the front door, you will only be just scratching the surface of what there is inside. Yes, this we probably have uh, almost now a total of fifty exhibits and play areas. We are also developing the great outdoor discovery area. We have a pirate ship going up outside. A pirate ship. A pirate ship, and we have uh, just dedicated Sullivan River, which is a dry riverbed for the children to play in. And we put sharks teeth and fossils out there for the children to find. Tell me what age of children, what types of children love Pops. this place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All children. Uh, we look at about third grade and under okay. uh, for our target group. But if an older child, especially if they have not been here before, they will have so much fun too. Uh, the bubble room, uh, the boat, the pirate ship we have inside, the bank, all of these things will attract and interest all children. I guess what I mean by that, I meant by that, what types of children? Those who might not be able to run and jump like normal kids, maybe they're handicapped type children. Can children, let's say, in a wheelchair be brought there too? Oh, sure, sure. Okay, so for all kids. Yes. A place of discovery? A place of discovery, creativity, imagination. One of my favorite stories is that... Uh, I, we tried to keep our groceries in our grocery area, but one day I saw these cute little boys, and they were just loading up our airplane with groceries. And I looked at them, and I said, you really, we really need to keep at least some groceries in the grocery store. And they looked at me and said, but we're getting ready to go on a long trip. <laughs> so I love that imagination. There was not much for me to say with that kind of an answer. So let's say the, the kids come to a grocery store area. They can go in and shop. It's a Brookshire's grocery store. Okay. Okay. In fact, many of our exhibits are sponsored by our local businesses, and we have Lone Star Pizza Area, uh, we have the Commerce Veterinary Clinic, the Hunt Regional Healthcare Hospital, Cypress Bank, and Brookshire's Grocery, just hmm. to name a few. So the kids can sort of do activities everything such is as their parents on. would do there. Yes, everything is hands-on. Oh my goodness. I've been hearing about this thing called Mega Lung. Oh, it's the most exciting thing. We just got it. Uh, it is eight feet tall, and it is a lung that children and adults can walk through. And we received it as a grant from the, a tobacco grant from Hunt Regional Health Care. And we have been taking it to schools. It has been so well received. And um, it is the only one in Texas. And if anybody would like to view it, it's on YouTube. It's, it was The lung was on Dr. Oz, so you can see what it looks like. But this has been a great teaching tool for us to take to schools and show children. And also, we've taken it to health fairs. We took it to the uh, Cooper Health Fair. Okay. And... Um, 
for people for adults to walk through too. What does it actually teach? It shows all the things that can go, go wrong with your lungs. In fact, I've named the lung Lonnie, Lonnie the lung. And so we talk about all the things we can see that are wrong with Lonnie. He's very sick, and we hope that all the those that see Lonnie will want to keep their lungs healthy. Okay, so much of the things that can go wrong with our lungs are self-inflicted. Some are, yeah. yes. All right. Well, it's a, like you said, a great teaching tool for kids. Is now more and more people seem to be taking more possession of their own health and responsibility for their own health and their eating habits and health as we, you know, mm-hmm. age and go through our lives. Well, and speaking of that, I mean, ch- this all begins at a very early age, and in January we are having a children's health fair, and the date of that. That, um, it's going to be January the 16th, okay. and we feel like this is new and unique because everything will be geared to children, and uh, they will be able to get a children's ID card with their picture and fingerprint, but we will also do things like test their resting heart rate and oxygen level, and then let them exercise and show them the difference. So, uh, there will be free admission that day from 9.30 to 11.30, and uh, we are very excited about having a children's health fair. That's, to me, sounds like the first I've ever heard of. I know, it probably is. Well, you're making a first in so many things. Is there another children's museum? Yes, uh, there's one in Tyler. I think they're a little geared to, geared the, to older children. Okay. Uh, somewhat because, uh, but we are geared to the younger children. Okay. Northeast Texas Children's Museum. If you haven't been there, there's a perfect time coming up for you to do just exactly that. And it's the weekend, the first weekend in December. Yes. Our brunch with Santa. And I actually found Santa sitting on a bench at the Children's Museum. You found Santa? I found Santa. He was sitting there. And someone came to me and said, Charlene, Santa is here in the museum. He's sitting on a bench. And I walked out, and here he was, a long beard, perfect beard, but not in his Santa Claus suit. And uh, I walked up to him, and I said, are you Santa Claus? And he said, yes, I am. And so we immediately uh, asked him to return to the Children's Museum for brunch with Santa on December the 5th from 9.30 to 11.30. And at that time, we will have uh, a pancake breakfast courtesy of Commerce Little Angels. We have Christmas crafts. We have a Christmas train that has already been put up. And, of course, bring your camera uh, for pictures with Santa with your children. But we are very excited about that day. December 5th, and that is a Saturday. Uh Uh-huh, and let me mention that tickets can be purchased now for $7 by calling the Children's Museum at 903-886-6055. But uh, they're $7 now. The day of the event, they are $10. So call and purchase your tickets for a great event for your whole family. And the time on that? 9.30 to 11.30. 11.30, so pancake brunch with Santa. Yes. Okay. A wonderful Santa. Well, how many years has the museum been open? The museum has been open for 13 years. So we're pretty well established, and we're just very excited of all the, the future of the museum. We're continuing to add new exhibits. I, in fact, I have a new one coming on the floor today. I can hardly wait to get back to see. And... Um, We're expanding outside. Uh, Dixie Terman uh, and her husband, Bob, are doing our pirate ship. Uh, She got the plans, and a group of volunteers are building it. I know when it was raining the other day, I looked out and thought it was going to be Noah's Ark floating down somewhere. (laughs) But uh, it's drying up a little bit, so we'll get that pirate ship finished pretty soon. That is just lovely. Well, tell me, after 13 years since the birth of the Northeast Texas Children's Museum, has your mission changed or evolved? No, the mission has remained the same to provide a place for children to be creative, use their imagination, and we education is also very important to us. Okay. Well, please tell me once tell us once again how to find your place and your hours of operation. Our hours of operation are Tuesday through Saturday, 9:30 to 4:30. Uh, We are open on Sundays for birthday parties, and we give a lot of birthday parties on Saturdays. 
and the price of admission is just five dollars a person. Children under two are free. Okay. Okay. And tell me, you personally, how did your life bring you to this directorship of the Northeast Texas Children's Museum? Well, I had been in the Metroplex, and I had done a program there called Enterprise City, which is a city that children run for a day, and thought I had retired to Pecan Gap, Texas, <laughs> uh, when a, a friend of mine in my Sunday school class, Alton Biggs, asked me if I would fill in while they found one because the previous director was leaving. And I said, why would I want to do that? That would be so boring. And I got over there and just have been there ever since. I love it. I've been there seven years. And it's just the most fun in the world. My goodness, what a lovely gift for after retirement. Yes, it is. Well, your happy smile makes me think that uh, all the good that you're doing there is, is also helping you personally. I do want to ask, can, can just the average person or a business help in donations? Oh, definitely. Uh, we are always looking for donations. I don't think there... One of my goals is to keep our admission price where everyone in this area can afford to come. And so, in order to keep... I mean, if you go to Dallas, they're going to charge a lot more for the same experience you have here at our own Children's Museum. And in order to do that, donations are so important. And uh, we have sponsorships of events. We have our daddy-daughter dance coming up on uh, February the 6th. Uh, we're look we'll have sponsors there. We have our mother's son superhero night later in February. So all these events are fundraisers, and we look for sponsors. But then they also they also give wonderful experiences for those who attend. Or you can just sponsor a day. We look for people for two hundred dollars to sponsor a day at the museum. That's but any amount is appreciated. Okay. And again, we can give. Uh, did you mention a phone number earlier? 903-886-6055. Okay, Northeast Texas Children's Museum. A beautiful, wonderful, and creative place right there in Congress. But we need you to come visit. Yes, I'm going to come <laughs> visit. I have some little grandchildren Good. again. Okay. Uh, my last daughter, so I, I guess I'm starting over in grandmotherhood. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Thank you.